Hey everyone and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to show you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. This week we don't have any new information for Solomon Kane, Steam Watchers, Hell the Last Saga, or Super Fantasy Brawl Round 2, but let's get to the rest of them. For Joan of Arc today, we have a short photo montage with some production stills we've just received from the factory of both miniatures and the storage solution. So enjoy! Now I particularly enjoyed the video from the factory showing how the storage solution will fit all the cards, components, and tiles of the game. In case you didn't hear it, all those lids snapped into place. So it looks and sounds like they'll be keeping everything safe and snug in their proper places. For Reichbusters today, an oversight of mine was brought to my attention this past week that I'd like to rectify. Because of the exorbitant shipping costs that we would have incurred in sending the Reichbusters Errata Pack by itself to our Australian and New Zealand backers, 
we made the decision to send it inside the containers of steam watchers instead, since the pack being ready for shipment so closely coincided with the timing of the first leg of steam watchers fulfillment. So at this point, the Reichbusters Errata Pack for our backers in Australia and New Zealand is currently scheduled to be on board the NYK Diana V.097S, as in Sam, <laughs> which is scheduled to depart on July 2nd and is expected to reach port on July 30th. The oversight was that I posted this information in a reply to a comment on update number 137 instead of making a full update about it. So when it came time to update our Asian backers as to when VFI Asia was going to begin shipping those packs out in update 138, I didn't include the update for our Australian and New Zealand backers because in my mind I had already shared that information. This was a simple oversight and wasn't at all meant to be a slight on any of our backers. So if our backers in Australia and New Zealand have any further questions or concerns, please feel free to contact our customer support team at support at mythicgames.net and we will be able to assist you. Thanks for your patience and support. For Enchanters today, we have a very important update for our Polish backers. We finally received word late last week from the factory that the Polish copies of the game are ready to be shipped to the hub at the latest by tomorrow, Wednesday, June 30th. Once Meeple Logistics receives the product, you can expect to receive an address verification email from them. So please respond to that email quickly as they will not process your order until your address is confirmed. After you respond to that email, you can generally expect your product to arrive within about two weeks. We want to thank you so much for your patience in this matter, and we're very pleased to finally being able to fulfill your pledges. As always, if you have any further questions or concerns, please feel free to contact our customer support team at support at mythicgames.net, and we should be able to assist you in whatever you have for us. Well, hello, Torchbearers. We have been reading a lot of comments about how you want a production update at this point. We can certainly understand that need, and we have been progressing very well in that respect. So here's a snapshot of the progress that we can share with you at this point. As you can see in the image, the lines represent the game and its expansion, while the columns represent the stage at which we are currently for that part of the game. Green represents that the status is complete, orange represents that it is still ongoing, and red represents that it just simply hasn't started yet. Darkest Dungeon on a whole, core and expansions have been fully designed. This means that the core concepts and mechanisms of the game have been designed and approved. The development of the game is also very well advanced with only the Color of Madness expansion being further developed as the designers feel that it needs more tweaks and balancing to convey the feeling that they want. We have recently started our playtesting with the core game and the Crimson Court expansion. Our designers and playtest teams have started big campaigns involving the Crimson Pledge to make sure that everything works perfectly and is well balanced. As we move forward, the playtesting will become even bigger in scale with more playtesting teams being involved so that we can receive a greater amount of feedback. We can understand how eager you are to try the game, but please do not send us requests for joining the playtesting teams because they are currently full. After the Crimson Pledge, which is the core box and the Crimson Court expansion, are playtested and the feedback is implemented, we will move on to the next expansions and of course keep you posted with that progress. With regards to actual production, at this point, we are unable to provide concrete feedback because of the volatile state of the shipping industry in China and with the factories. It's in such a state of flux that we can't even answer this question for games that are already in the factory being printed. Circumstances change on a weekly basis with factors like new COVID waves, factories having fewer shifts a week, scheduled power outages that force them to not work at all at times, and huge backlogs from several publishers affecting the situation. Overall, we have been told that only 
after we approve the print pre-production copies that they will be able to give us an accurate timeline for production. We know that this is not necessarily pleasant news, but it is something that we can't control at all. We are in weekly contact with them and we will continue monitoring the situation and of course we will continue to keep you updated whenever something new comes about. And we will make sure to update the diagram when we are able to keep you up to speed with our progress. We just have two days to go in our Six Siege the Board Game campaign on Kickstarter. At the time of writing this script, 7,211 backers have raised no less than $1,031,941. We certainly can't thank you enough for your support even now, but we still have a solid two days to go and a lot more to unlock. If you haven't given a really good look yet, we want to encourage you to do so very soon. We've already unlocked a ton of exclusive upgrades to components and alternate skins for operators in many of the expansions, with more to come in the next couple of days. We'll still be holding a couple more skin duels that you can take part in, and we've still got some cool things to unlock. So come on by and check it out if you haven't already. And if you have, stop by again and say hi. We'll see you there. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions or just to see what he might spoil. He'll probably be focusing on Six Siege the board game again as we're closing out that campaign this week. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, that's it. Stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care.